Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. Woohoo! I'm so excited. And no fiesta is complete without guacamole. So here to help get your guac on is Patty's Mexican Table Star and James Beard Award winning chef. We have Patty Kinich, and she's going to give us a scoop. Hello, Patty. Hi. Thanks for having me today. Yeah, it's so great to have you. I have to tell you, we have some fans here uh, in the Sack and Co family. So I'm just going to say hi to you for them. But first, tell us how do we make a killer guac? <laughs> well, for starters, you have to find the perfect avocado. And avocados from Mexico are healthy, delicious, and always worth it, and always make phenomenal guacamole. And you know, this year you will have no trouble finding avocados because avocados from Mexico is on track for a record-breaking year of import volume of avocados with an estimated 141 million pounds of avocados wow. to be imported in the three weeks leading up to Cinco. It's wild. <laughs> so that means plenty of avocados for your Cinco fiesta. So I recommend that you shop a day or two ahead and look avocados like these ones that are gorgeous and yield to gentle pressure and the skin should be almost entirely pitch black. So you know they're ready, they're ripe, and you can bring them home and eat them, make your guac, or put them in the fridge for five to six days. They'll be waiting for you. Now, if they're not quite there yet and they're not ripe, you can speed up the ripening process by placing the avocados in a brown paper bag with a banana or an apple. Then you have your ripe avocado. You can mash it or dice it, and then you can go as far as your imagination goes. And, and Patty, are we able to make guacamole ahead of time? Because I know a lot of people are going to be preparing for their Cinco de Mayo festivities and have their family and friends yes. over. And anything we can do in advance is so welcomed, right? Of course, of course. So you have your avocado, you mash it, you dice it, you can mix it with all sorts of ingredients. You know, like here I have a piña colada guac that has Ooh. pineapple, coconut, habanero chiles, it has a splash of rum, some lime juice. Oh. So that's one direction. That I know sounds fantastic. it's wild, it's delicious. And then here I have a Veracruz-style guac. This has olives, capers, pickled jalapeños, tomato, onion, great with plantain chips. And here I have a very easy-to-make fiesta guac that has jalapeño, tabasco sauce, lime juice, onion, tomato. So you can go in so many directions. Not only can you mix the guac with many different things, but you can change up the things that you're that you dip your guac with. You make your guac ahead of time. You can totally make it like 24 hours ahead. You wrap it with plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. The same thing if you have leftover guacamole. So I think avocados and guacamoles are a lot more resilient than people think. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, and Patty, I absolutely love the different variations that you have on the guacamole and the suggestion of playing with what you're going to be dipping with it. You don't just need the tortilla chips and the standard recipe. There's just so many options. Where can our viewers go for that inspiration and all those recipes? So you can go for hundreds and hundreds for, of recipes for guacamole and tips and tricks of how to find, store, and use avocados at avocadosfrommexico.com. Wonderful. Patty, thank you so much, everyone. Award-winning chef Patty thank Hennich, you. thank you so much, my friend. Thanks for having me today. Have a happy Cinco. You as well. Yeah. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.